So I wanted to make an old fashioned chicken and dumplings like my mom used to make. Here we go. So I used fresh herbs and I put them in my pot with my water and my chicken breast. Joshua made me these herb boxes a couple months ago and I absolutely love them. And using these herbs, the water and chicken, we're creating our own chicken broth that we can use later into our recipe. All right, there we go, almost finished there. Look how beautiful that is, oh my goodness. Those herbs look amazing. So you're gonna cook your chicken probably for about 15 minutes. You don't wanna overcook it because you're gonna continue using it later in the recipe. So you're just gonna take out all the chicken breast out of the broth. Make sure you keep those herbs in there because like I said, we're gonna be using this liquid as our chicken stock when we start making our roux and just adding it to um, our cream recipe. So you're gonna remove all that and then we're gonna take that out and you're gonna dice it into smaller chunks. And it is really hot, so be careful. So once you get all that cut up, you're just gonna set it aside because we're gonna continue on with our chicken and dumpling recipe. So we're just gonna get those cut up into small chunks. Mm, excuse me, small chunks. And then I started by adding one stick of butter melted and I added um, chopped celery and then one to two tablespoons of um, fresh garlic. And then about one to one and a half um, cups of chopped onions. And then mix that around so you can get that butter all around there. Get that garlic mixed up. Yeah, that looks really, really good. It smells so good too, trust me. I gotta get every bit of garlic I need. And then I added my carrots. I did about eight to 10 carrots chopped. And really get that stirred around because your carrots are gonna cook slower than your celery and your onions. So I would cook that probably for about 10 minutes, simmer it on a medium heat. And now we're gonna add the spices. So I added one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning mix, it's like five different herbs, one tablespoon of parsley, and then one tablespoon of ground mustard. I use ground mustard in everything. I love it so much. And then you're gonna use one tablespoon of pepper, and then one tablespoon of onion powder and then stir that up all really good. And then you're gonna simmer it probably for another 15 minutes because you wanna get those carrots soft. So just keep mixing all those herbs in there, simmer it for about 10 minutes. Yeah, that looks really good, really good. And I use this same thing with a lot of my recipes. Um, different herbs, but basically with the carrots, onions, celery, I do this a lot with a lot of my recipes. Um, it's just a good base for soups and everything. So after that simmered for about 10 minutes, I'm gonna pour over, we'll sprinkle over a half a cup of flour and then coat all those vegetables. This is gonna help thicken the broth and the cream when you add it. So just really stir that around and get all those veggies coated in that flour. It's another way to thicken your recipe without having to stop and make a roux separately and then add it to the veggies. So you're gonna stir that around. That looks good. And then let it simmer probably for about five minutes. And then I added probably two to four cups of heavy whipping cream, and you're gonna stir that all up. I use heavy whipping cream in a lot of my recipes. Even if they call for milk or have half and half, I will use heavy whipping cream. I just really like the creaminess of it, the thickness of it, and I use it in my coffees too. I actually really like heavy whipping cream. If I can find a recipe that uses heavy whipping cream, I am so there. All right, so you're gonna mix that up. That looks really good. Let it simmer for, I don't know, maybe another five minutes. All right, that looks really good. And then now we're gonna get our chicken stock that we um, made by ourselves with the chicken and the water and the herbs. And I did about four cups, but you know, if you, if you think it's too thick, you could do six cups of it. So you're gonna add the four to six cups to that. And it's also gonna thin it out a little bit because the cream is kind of thick. So you're gonna add that to your cream mixture. All right, there we go, that looks really good. And like I said, if you have extra, just put it in a jar or something, you put it in the fridge, you can use it for anything. You can use it to simmer veggies, you can use it for soups. I mean, there's so many re ways that you can use chicken stocks. So you're gonna stir that around. And I think I let it simmer probably for another 10 minutes. You really wanna go slow with it. You don't wanna curdle the milk. You want it to work in with those herbs and the cream and the stock just to make a really nice, a creamy base for your chicken and dumplings. Looks like I really like to stir this a lot. I mean, it, it does kind of get addictive. <laughs> you just keep stirring and stirring and stirring and making sure your veggies are kind of uh, throughout the pan. And this cast iron is really nice too. 
And I thought that maybe using cast iron would make my recipe stick, and it, they really don't. You just have to make sure you don't put on too high of a heat. All right, so I added my chicken back in there, and then I thawed out some frozen peas, and I added probably, I don't know, maybe two to four cups of peas. You know, sometimes you can put the peas in with your chicken to thaw those out, but because I wanted to make my stock, I just thawed my um, peas out on the counter. So two to four cups. We really like peas. We, we don't like to eat them by themselves, but we do like to add them to a recipe. So you're gonna stir those in. That looks really good, really good. So after we get that all mixed up, we're now gonna go to our biscuit recipe. All right, that looks good. Get those peas in there, and then it's cooking still, so those carrots are probably soft by now. All right, now we're gonna start our biscuit recipe. So now you start with two cups of flour, and we're gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of sugar, and then we're gonna grab a spoon. There we go, get that sugar in there. We're gonna grab a spoon and we're gonna whisk all that together or mix it together to make sure you get all those spices mixed with the flour. Mix it really, really well. And then when we're done with that, we're gonna add our wet ingredients. And now, don't forget, I'm doubling everything. So you use one cup of cold milk and then one cup of sour cream and then four tablespoons of melted butter. So this recipe might look a little more than what you guys, what I'm telling you, but because I have such a big family, I have to like double, quadruple recipes. So you're gonna stir all that together and it's gonna start to become um, like a um, thicker texture. It's gonna be kind of lumpy. So just keep stirring that around to get that dough going. There we go, it looks really good. This probably will take you maybe, I don't know, five minutes. You really wanna stir it really well. Then once you get all that mixed really good, then you're gonna knead it a little bit. So we'll get that all going there. Yeah, that looks really, really good. And I bet you you could use this biscuit recipe for other things. You can maybe take out some of the spices and you can use a biscuit res recipe, maybe add pepper and salt to it and do like more of like a breakfast biscuit. But this really, really turned out really well. So you're just gonna knead it about, I don't know, 10 to 12 times. Really get that, um, working that in. There you go. My mom is so nice cleaning up after me. So really just keep kneading it. And then when we get done with that, we're gonna go over and we're gonna scoop it using my ice cream scooper. I find that's a lot easier. You could use a tablespoon too. And we're gonna scoop that on top of our cream mixture. We're gonna get all that on there. It just turned out so wonderful, you guys. And if you wanna make bigger biscuits, you can or smaller biscuits. I do make a lot of recipes with a cream base just because I just feel like they're very like warm and comfy. And I do make a lot of things like this that, that will go far. So I try and make bigger meals so it can go farther with our family. And I do try and make sure I incorporate vegetables in it and different spices and herbs. And I use garlic in a lot, like I really do. Everybody's like, oh my goodness, all the garlic. I do, I love garlic, I use garlic a lot. And it's very healthy for you. So once we get that all scooped in, you wanna preheat your oven to 375, and then we're gonna bake it in the oven for about 40 minutes. This is so heavy, especially when I get all my food in there, holy cow. And I didn't even realize that you can actually put a cast iron pan in the oven. This is all new to me, and uh, just, just amazing. But it turned out so good, like really, really good. The bottom was creamy, the biscuits were yummy. Oh my goodness, a winner.